Well, yeah, this is it. Had this bug for a really long time on Vulcan. Running RDR2 on DirectX 12 is just really a bad alternative since my PC gives me 30-ish FPS on DX on the lowest settings. While I can run it with Vulcan with pretty high settings, so yeah, I would really love to hear about everything y'all know about this. It happens to me in a span of either instantly on launching into story or online, or after like 45 minutes. I don't know what causes this and what I did. RDR2 worked really good for me for the first few months, but then this happened. Oh yeah, and also, know the support cow to help me. Made three tickets and each time nothing worked, so yeah, hope the community has an idea since I really like this game. Red Dead Redemption 2, the epic open world game by Rockstar, has captivated gamers with its immersive gameplay and stunning visuals. However, players occasionally encounter technical hurdles and one persistent issue that has frustrated many is the error code double double F. This error often appears during the game's launch or while playing, disrupting the gaming experience. Error code double F double F in Red Dead Redemption 2 can be triggered due to various reasons such as corrupted game files, outdated system software, or conflicting applications. While encountering this error can be exasperating, there are several troubleshooting steps to resolve it. I found some tried and tested methods to fix this issue and these are given by some RDR2 players and Reddit users. I hope these fixes help you all as well. Fix 1 To resolve this issue, begin by navigating to the advanced graphics settings and altering the API. For instance, if the game crashes with Vulkan, switch it to DirectX 12 or vice versa. However, before making this adjustment, ensure that you uninstall OneDrive or any similar online storage service from your computer. These services often interfere with local storage files, affecting their functionality. Disable or remove the service entirely. Next, proceed to delete the Red Dead Redemption 2 folder located in the Documents directory. Afterward, launch the game and accept any prompted windows. Then, access the advanced graphics settings and modify the API as required. It might prompt a game restart, potentially resetting your graphics settings. We can figure them accordingly, considering the API change, and your issue should be resolved. Fix 2 Attempt to disable Lenny's mod loader, or remove any AC file mods installed. Test the game using the train in the same manner that previously caused the crash. If the game runs smoothly without any issues, it indicates a compatibility problem with mods. In my experience, a specific AC file named No Glowing Pickups caused this issue. If the problem is indeed due to mod compatibility, systematically remove mods one by one until you identify the problematic one causing the crash. This step-by-step -step elimination process will help pinpoint the specific mod causing the compatibility issue. Fix 3. I typically opt for full screen mode when playing games due to reduced input delay and potentially higher FPS, as the system prioritizes the focus program, such as RDR2 in this case. Upon encountering this issue, I meticulously reviewed every graphic setting and discovered that the game wasn't set to full screen, but instead was on windowed borderless. This puzzled me because I never intentionally switched from full screen mode. It appears that when you use Alt plus tab, or if you have multiple monitors and navigate to another program or window, RDR2 automatically shifts from full screen to windowed borderless mode. Surprisingly, this might significantly contribute to the occurrence of the FFFF crash. Although it might not entirely solve the issue, ensuring that the game is set to full screen mode by using the shortcut Alt plus enter upon reopening RDR2 seemed to improve the game's stability in this aspect for me. After returning to full screen mode, I experienced significantly fewer crashes. During a day-long session in RDO, it only crashed once, possibly because I forgot to use Alt plus enter. I encourage you to try this out and share your experience. Perhaps it could help mitigate the issue for others too. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, then don't forget to press the like button. Also, do share it with your friends and families. For more videos like these, do subscribe to Gossip Funda YouTube channel. You can read more such amazing blogs on our website. Visit GossipFunda.com. Link is in the description box. Do check it out. See you in the next video.